I'm Ricky, and welcome to today's edition of The Mouse Bites. The Mouse Bites are your latest Walt Disney World, Disneyland, Disney Cruise Line, and Universal Orlando news. Now, we're already thinking about fall activities, and that is because the Epcot Food and Wine Festival, well, it's actually kicking off in the summer of this year. So the event is kicking off on July 15th, and it's gonna run for a whopping 129 days through November 20th. Now, here is what you can expect for this year's event. First of all, of course, it wouldn't be the Food and Wine Festival without the marketplaces, correct? So this year, there's going to be a number of familiar marketplaces as well as quite a few new marketplace options as well. So returning favorites are going to include things like Hawaii, Australia, Germany, Canada, and Greece. New options are gonna include things like Lobster Landing, Rotunda Bistro, the Noodle Exchange, Brew Wing at the Epcot Experience. There's also going to be a number of options that are opening later during the festival. So they're not officially opening on July 15th. They're actually gonna be opening on October 1st. And the reason that date is super important is because that is the kickoff of Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary celebration. Also, it's a big day at Epcot. It is the official opening of Remy's Ratatouille Adventure. So it's gonna be a crazy busy day at Epcot on the first, but there are marketplaces that are opening that day like Mac and Eats. There's also going to be Ireland, India, and there's going to be Brazil, plus a number of other options. So this year's Food and Wine Festival, the marketplace dining experience options are going to be scattered throughout. So you're not gonna get to experience all of them at the beginning, but by the end of the festival, they will all officially be open. So just kind of a warning, the sweet spot, if you really wanna hit up all the marketplaces, it's probably is gonna be that October, November range if you really wanna plan your vacation for that. Now, with that, there's of course going to be entertainment. And one of the big pieces of the Epcot Food and Wine Festival is the Eat to the Beat concert series. Of course, that's not gonna be happening this year, but we are still gonna get entertainment from Voices of Liberty, Mariachi Cobre, and the Jam and Chefs. There's also going to be the America Gardens Bandstand uh, presented by Florida Blue Medicare, and those are gonna be live music concerts performed Friday through Monday evenings, at, the, at least at the beginning of the season. Not sure how long those are officially going to last. Now for families, they're gonna to wanna to take part in Remy's Ratatouille Hide and Squeak, which is a scavenger hunt, sending guests all around World Showcase looking for little statuettes of Remy. Uh, and you do get a prize if you collect, if you find all his statuettes. There's also going to be Emile's Fromage Montage where you can purchase five participating dishes that include cheese and you get a simmering, you get to go to simmering ships for a special prize if you do that. Merchandise this year is gonna be on point. There are gonna be multiple collections that are available for guests, including the Epcot Food and Wine Festival logo collection, Bell Be Our Guest collection, Remy Shake Things Up collection, Apple Orchard collection, and the Figment Pass Holder collection. So lots of different options there. The Epcot Food and Wine Festival is available to all guests. You will need to have a valid Epcot theme park admission and a park reservation for the same date in order to be able to experience this event. That's gonna do it for all the news that I have for you today. Make sure you follow along with The Mouse for Less on all of our social sites. So you have Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Pinterest. And we also do now have a following on TikTok. So if you wanna follow us there, you can also do that. Also, you wanna to subscribe to our newsletter. The newsletter actually goes out this week. So you wanna subscribe by going to themouseforless.com, clicking on that giant red button at the top that says subscribe to our free newsletters, and you can easily get that out in your mailbox on Thursday. If you wanna book a trip to the Epcot Food and Wine Festival, well then you wanna visit our friends at The Magic for Less Travel. They would be more than happy to assist you and get you a free, no obligation quote. Visit them today at themagicforless.com. That's gonna do it for me. We will see you the next time on The Mouse Bites. Have a great day, everyone.